Hey, Saggy. Okay, so we're doing your monthlies. Your monthly reading for May. I think I'm going to start shuffling off camera because it saves like three minutes, which I need those three minutes. Okay. Um, all right, so let's see what's going on with you, Saggy, for the month of May. If this does not resonate with you, please check your rising and your moon. If you are more of an ego-driven person, your sun sign is probably going to resonate more. If you're more spiritual, your moon sign is probably going to resonate more, okay? So let's see what's going on with you. Like already a minute from just some freaking stuff on this car. The dick. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle my little clarifying deck real quick. But I'm seeing here, Saggy, the overall energy for the month of May is going to be the Four of Pentacles. You're holding back. Somebody's holding back. Either you or the person you're dealing with. Someone's holding back. Holding on to their coins. Holding, like, you know, holding on to what they have and not letting go. I feel like this is your energy. You're going to be dealing with this or you're going to be embodying this. Energy of the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so let's see what energy you're transitioning um, with from the month of April. Let's see what you're coming in with. All right, Sag. Let's go. All right, so overall energy is going to be the four of pentacles. Like I said, you're holding back. You're holding, you know, you're holding on to what's yours. I feel like... Um, you're protecting what's yours. You're protecting your money, your feelings, your emotions. Um, you're just kind of holding back. You're holding on to what's yours and you're holding on tight. You might be dealing with someone who is like this as well. Someone is, who is an energetic hoarder, I like to call them. Emotional hoarder. Someone who doesn't reveal their emotions. The card under this is going to be the imprints. Okay. So I feel like you're holding yourself back from growth. You're holding, your, you're, you're holding yourself back from a situation that could potentially uh, help you grow or that could potentially potentially be a beautiful start for you, okay, Sag? Or someone is holding back from you, okay? So the energy that you're coming in with from the month of April is going to be the Justice card in reverse. So I feel like the month of April, you felt like, Sag, maybe you were treated unfairly in a situation. You didn't get justice. Justice was not... Was, was not in, it was not in your favor. It did not go the way that you wanted it to go. And I feel like maybe you felt you were treated very unfairly. Something, something was done to you that was very unjust. Okay, so this is what the energy, this is what you're coming in. This is the energy that you're coming in with. Or you could have been dealing with a Libra last month um, in April. Could have been dealing with a Libra who was just really imbalanced. Okay. And the first week of May, you have the page of wands, messages. Someone is bringing a message to you, Sagittarius. This could definitely be your energy. Maybe you're bringing a message to someone else. Or maybe you're dealing with some, um, a younger uh, a fire sign. This could be your child as well. Um, but if you are uh, an older person, this is definitely someone who's younger than you who's bringing you a message, a younger fire sign. Or this is someone that you're reaching out to, maybe younger than you. Maybe this, this is someone that um, lives at a distance even. But there's going to be a message. Okay, and I feel like... This message is going to be a passionate message. It's going to be a message, a message of passion, okay? And I feel like going, uh, your transitioning energy going into the uh, second week of May is going to be the seven of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like you're being a little bit impatient. Maybe the message that comes in, you're like, yay, okay. Or like maybe you're waiting for the message. And I feel like after you hear the message, you become really impatient, you become really, really impatient. Um, maybe you were waiting to hear from this person. Like maybe you were just like waiting for them to message you. Like you couldn't wait for them to message you, right? And like going into the second week of May, you're going to make an offer. There's going to be an offer made to you because somebody's impatient. They want you now. They cannot wait anymore. They're really thinking about making this offer. But this is something that's coming in slow. 
This is not something that's going to rush into you. This is not something that's going to um, be flighty. This is someone that's really thinking it over, someone who's getting their ducks in a row. Um, so this message might come in slowly. This might be a slow moving person. So this, I feel like maybe this is why you're feeling a little bit un impatient. Maybe you know this person is moving slow. You know this person is practical and they're not going to just rush into anything. I feel like that's why you're feeling a little bit impatient um, going into the second week because you want this offer. Like, come on. Like, when is it coming? I feel like you're waiting for it. Like, Sag, I feel like the second week of, um, I feel like the second, the first week of May, you're getting messages from someone. You, you're, you guys are messaging, there's messages going back and forth, messages of passion, you know, but I feel like going into the second week, you're like, why hasn't they, why haven't they made the offer yet? What's going on? What are they waiting on? Like, you know, or it's like, I feel like, or maybe you're waiting to make an offer. Okay. I feel like they're, maybe you're, I feel like Sag, you're becoming impatient. Like you want to make this offer, but I feel like something is standing in your way. Like something that I feel like it's, something is making you wait or is, is delaying the offer somehow. Right. Um, because your transitioning energy going to the third week is going to be the temperance in reverse. So I feel like the offer is not being made Sag because there's some imbalance here. There's some, um, spiritual and energetic imbalance. And maybe this person is not feeling the most confident to make this offer. Maybe this this could be you as well, Sag. Like, I feel like you want to make this offer and you be, you're becoming impatient because maybe you don't know how to make the offer. Maybe you don't know how or when or, you know, like you're just planning and planning and planning and you don't really know. Cause I, and I feel like this is making you like off balance a lot. Like this is, this is your card again, Sagittarius, but this is you in reverse. So this is like you not on your square. Um, you're not, you're not tempered. I feel like you're in balance a lot about this offer. And I feel like going to the third week of May, you have the nine of swords. So you're, you're, you're really stressing out about this. This is, this has you stressed out. You're really stressed out about this. A lot of anxiety in your head. This might be even keeping you up at night, Sag. Like, you know, because, you know, you're just feeling in really imbalanced. And I feel like this it's because of, because of a message that you heard um, at the beginning of the month, I feel like this message started, this message that you heard, this messenger or this person that you're dealing with at the beginning of the month, um, this could be someone who's very immature as well. The messages could have been very immature. You could be dealing with someone who's very immature and I feel like they're making you wait. You know what I mean? Like this person's making you wait or, um, I feel like you're being forced to wait and it's making you, um, it's stressing you out. It's causing a lot of anxiety. Okay. Because going into... Uh, going into the third week, um, I'm, I'm sorry, going to the fourth week of May, you, your transitioning energy is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this could be a family situation. Maybe there's a family situation going on, Sagittarius, that has you really stressed out, keeping you up at night, a lot of anxiety. Um, you're just in your head a lot about the situation. Maybe um, you recently moved or there's something going on in your family dynamic that's just, it's just not, uh, there's something about money, something about old money. Um, I feel like something something regarding your money or your or, or work situation is really stressing you out. I feel like this is why you, you you're not you can't make this offer because maybe something yeah, I'm seeing a lot of pentacles here. So I feel like maybe your money is funny or maybe their money is funny. They can't make this offer yet and it's really stressing them out because they can't make this offer to you and they really, really want to. And but I feel like something's going on with their money. Something's going on something's going on in their family where they can't make this offer to you and it's really stressing them out or it's really stressing you out. Um, this could be definitely be your situation that something's going on um, in your family that, you know, you're losing your patience. It's, start, it's starting to weigh on you. It's starting to stress you out a little bit. And but see, going in the last the last month, the last week of May, though, you have the six of pentacles. So I feel like I feel like a situation at home, Sagittarius, is in balance. There's that there's the part. OK, so you have the 10 percent reverse and you have this. So the six of pentacles, as you can see, this is a lack of equal give and take. Someone's taking more than, than they deserve. Someone's giving more than they should, right? So I, I feel like a, a situation regarding your home life, regarding a job, I feel like someone's taking advantage of you. And I feel like it's stressing you out because I, I, I feel like you're in a situation where things are moving so slow and you're like, and you want to get out of the situation because it's really stressing you out. And I feel like this is in regards to your family or a job. I feel like you feel stuck in this job or you feel stuck at a job that's not... Like, it's not fulfilling you financially. Maybe you're not making enough money, okay? Or maybe something happened in your family where you didn't get your fair share. I feel like the ending the ending of May, there's going to be something that comes up that you're not going to get your fair share. Like, someone's, someone's trying to take, you for, take advantage of you. Someone's trying to take more than what they deserve, okay? So, and I, I feel like 
I feel like this could also be as well. Um, you're stressed out about a situation that happened regarding your money and about a situation. Um, I feel like you also could be stressed out. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's going through a situation where they're unhappy in their family and it's stressing you out, Sagittarius, because you're thinking about them and you want to help them. You're thinking about helping this person. Okay. So I feel like this, I feel like you're holding, I feel like the reason why you're holding on to your money this month, you're holding on to your emotions, you're being an emotional hoarder, is because there's a situation that's going on that's someone's trying to take advantage of you. Something's unfair. You're becoming very impatient with the situation. Um, I feel like too, the situation is kind of stopping you from making an offer that you've been wanting to make um, to someone. And I feel like it could be a, a younger person, someone who's younger than you. You want to bring them a message and you want to make them an offer, but I feel like there's something going on with your job or your family situation. Maybe there's inheritance. Maybe you didn't get your fair share of inheritance or something like that. But I feel like the situation is kind of stressing you out a little bit. Well, a lot. It's keeping you up at night, maybe even. You have, you're having a lot of anxiety um, in the third week of May regarding a family situation, money situation. I think, I, I feel like this is a job um, or a home life situation. So let's see what, the, what guidance you guys have for this month, okay? Because I do see, even, even, even in the midst of all of this chaos that's going on, I, I still feel like you're holding it together. Like, you're keeping it together. Even though you are feeling imbalanced and, you know, you're feeling stressed out, you're feeling anxiety, like you're feeling unhappy in your family situation, um, you're, you're keeping it together. Like, you know, you're not letting people see you sweat, so that's good. You're not letting it get the best of you. Okay, so... Okay, so your your um guidance for this month, Sag, is going to be receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. So I feel like if you're in a situation where you need help, let let somebody help you, Sagittarius. Or if you need help energetically, pray. Call on your spirit guides. Call on your archangels and see and ask them for help. They will help you, but you have to ask. They can't interfere. They can't interfere with free will until you ask them, right? So if you're in a situation where you feel like you're being treated unfairly, a family situation, I feel like this is something regarding your family, and you're becoming impatient because um, I feel like there was an injustice that happened last month regarding a Libra, um, and you're maybe you're speaking to this to this person about it, and you're becoming very impatient. But I feel like the situation has you very stressed out. Something has you very stressed out. And um, having a lot of anxiety, but I feel like Sagittarius, like allow yourself to receive, you know, messages from the universe, from your spirit guides. Open yourself up to receive messages and synchronicity, so you can see how to get out of the situation. Because I feel like at the beginning of the month, it's it, it it's going well. Like you, even though you're holding, you're a, being an emotional hoarder, or you're being a hoarder. Period. I feel like there's someone that you really, you really, really want to re reach out to. There's, there's someone that you really want to talk to that there's, because there's messages at the beginning of the month, the A here. This, you, you're speaking to someone. You're reaching out to someone. You're bringing them a message. But I feel like going, like going forward, I feel like your family situation is really stressing you out. Okay, or maybe you're stressed out because you want to offer this. You want to offer this person a family. You want to offer them the home and the security. But I feel like you don't, you can't. There's something that's, you know, something that's stopping you. And I feel like you should pray about it, Sag. Um, I feel like you should pray about this. I feel like this is something that you should, you know, allow yourself to be open to messages and information. Okay. All right, Sag. So I hope, I really hope this helps uh, Sagittarius. Hope this helps you guys. Let's see if I can get any more messages. I want to see, I really just want to see why the temperance is in reverse here because this is your card. I want to see why you're not feeling, I want to see why the temperance is in reverse and why is the ten of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so the temperance is in reverse because the nine of cups is in reverse. You're not happy. You're rich, you know, um, I feel like you're drinking a lot of two, Sash. Okay, so let's see why the ten of pentacles is in reverse here going into the, the fourth week. Okay, so I feel like, yes, I feel like this is a situation regarding home and your mother. Okay, this is the Taurus card here. So I feel like a situation at home, and this is a situation regarding your mother or regarding um, maybe someone who's even pregnant, 
or a mother figure. Um, I feel like there's a situation going on here. I, I feel like this is definitely regarding your mom. Like, I feel like maybe you feel trapped in a home situation because of your mom. And I feel like the reason why you're feeling the temperance in reverse is the nine of cups in reverse. You're not, something is not going your way. You're not getting your wish. You're unhappy because a wish, something that you really wanted is not coming true right now. It's like, you're just feeling like I'm not getting my way. I'm stuck in this situation. It's not working out. And I feel like you're drinking a lot as well. I feel like you're, you're drinking a lot going into the, the third week. And this, I feel like this has a lot to do with why you're stressing out as well, Sag, because you're drinking a lot. You're unhappy. You're feeling like in balance because the situation that you, you're really trying to manifest is just not going, it's not materializing the way you wanted it to. And I feel like this is a situation, I feel like this is, your mother is involved in some way here. Okay. I feel like your mom is involved in some way and a home situation is just like, it's not growing. It's not going well at all. There's a lack of equal give and take, but I feel like at the end of May, you're going to take your power back though. I feel like something's going to transpire where, you know, you're going to, you might, you're going to realize it's time for me to take control of my life. It's time for me to hold on to what's mine. It's time for me to protect my assets. Okay? All right, Saji. I hope this helps you. Bye.